Payday 3 is an extremely fun and engaging game when it works. The issue is that it doesn't always work. And I'm not even talking solely about the server issues, which we will get into that in a bit. But just the menus alone feel a bit weird, personally. Small things, like the menu doesn't loop back around when you're scrolling through the same menus. So if you scroll to one end of the menu, you gotta click the button just as many times to get back to where you started. The pause menu doesn't let you click B, at least like on an Xbox controller input, to exit the menu. You gotta click A on resume game to get back into the action. These are small things, and in the grand scheme of things, they're really not gonna make or break a game, but they are welcome quality of life changes that I like having in games. Just makes navigating things a little bit easier with all the muscle memory when it comes to menus in a lot of other games. But I digress. The game is relatively simple in concept. All I knew coming into the game is that you take part in heists. I have literally never played a Payday game before, so my knowledge was pretty basic coming into it. But the tutorials do give you all of the info that you need before actually jumping into the main game itself. Even though I did think you could unequip your mask, which led me to chuck a grenade within the first 10 seconds of the first heist, leading us to not being able to play it stealthily. It was literally just a constant gunfight the whole time. Watch the sieve. Look out and sieve. Time to get going. But that's also what's great about Payday. You're able to go about the heist in whatever way you want. Do you want to go in with a clear-cut plan, grab the objective without being noticed? You can do that. Do you want to mask up immediately and just have a shootout the whole time on your way to the objective? You can do that as well. There's a variety of ways to play in most every heist. You can cater your plan to your preferred playstyle. Without your mask equipped, you blend in with the regular crowd, being able to go into public areas with nobody being the wiser. If you go into private areas, you'll be escorted out if you're found, but it's not an instant game over. If you're in secure areas, well that's where you'll be arrested, or you can choose to put on the mask and go loud. You're able to customize your loadout to your liking in Payday, choosing between different weapons and attachments. Though in the beginning your options are very limited, but as you keep playing and leveling up your player and weapons, you'll have more options to choose from. Over on the gameplay side of things, the movement feels good. I really don't know how it compares to the other games in the series, but you have your normal movement options in modern gaming like sliding and mantling. The gunplay is fine, I feel like the weapons don't sound like they pack a punch, and they all handle pretty similarly. Given that's based off of me only using a few different weapons, maybe I'll be proven wrong when unlocking more weapons down the road. But the gunplay isn't bad, it just doesn't compare to like Call of Duty for example. And say what you will about COD, the gunplay is always really well done in those games. Throughout the different heists, you'll have a bunch of different objectives, all basically boiling down to get this thing to make some money. There's eight total heists available at launch. I have yet to finish them all, but the ones I've played so far have been really enjoyable. Playing with friends is clearly where this game shines. There's a need for communication amongst your group. Talking with your group to coordinate where to go, what to do, the best course of action for getting the job done. It's one of those games that teamwork is clearly key, and it's what helps makes it so enjoyable. Sure, you can have fun in arcade shooters, but sometimes having a game like this that makes you think about your next move just hits differently. So far, everything I've said about Payday 3 has been pretty positive, and if that's the case, then why am I saying that this game is great with the caveat of when it works? That's because there's some gameplay elements, or lack thereof, that make no sense to me or are just plain dumb. For the purpose of this section that I'm going to be discussing, the gameplay elements in here are from the aspect of playing on the normal difficulty. So it's entirely possible that these issues or gripes are significantly less prominent in the higher difficulties. For starters, the AI in this game is brain dead. At least on the normal difficulty, it seems like all the AI characters share a collective six brain cells. For instance, you can walk straight up to a guard and just keep spamming the mark button on him, and your characters will just keep yelling, Guard! There's a guard! And the guy doesn't react at all. Which is extremely funny, but you think the guard would get suspicious about four people all wearing surgical gloves outside of a place holding a lot of valuable items just constantly pointing them out. God! Shit, drill. There's a guard! God! Watch the guard! There's a guard! Mind the guard! There's a guard! 
And yes, I know it's for the sake of gameplay. If the guards straight up arrested you for just pointing them out, that would be very unfair. But they don't even react to you at all, really. You can literally just follow a guard inside of a secured area while being, say, three feet away from them, and he will not know. He will not react. It's like they have no sense of their surroundings. They have their set path that they walk on, and unless you're in their direct line of sight, they will not notice you. Hell, there was even a time when we replayed the first heist that we all had our guns out on the second floor, and we were just standing next to civilians, and they did not react at all. As if they had no peripheral vision or sense of their area. Maybe this is less common on higher difficulties, but it made for some pretty funny moments. But it was only funny because of how clueless the AI was. If you have to kill a guard, you'll have to answer the radio, or else they'll become suspicious. I found it very funny that a female character could answer the radio, and that the other guards would react like nothing was wrong. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say if you actually work security, you'd probably know who's on shift and at what post. And if there's no female guard on the schedule, hearing a female answer the radio would probably raise some questions. Again, I know this is for the sake of gameplay, because if using a female character came with that kind of a handicap, there would be no point in selecting to play them. But it is something that can kind of take you out of the immersion a little bit. It's the things like the lack of situational awareness by the AI that is my real main gripe here. Because when it comes down to a shootout, the cops can actually be pretty smart. They might utilize different routes to try to cut you off, repel from the roof, and do whatever they need to do to stop you. Snipers can be on the rooftops trying to pick you off, meaning you can't stand still for too long without getting domed. And that's what I mean by when this game works, it's great. When the AI reacts in a way that's believable and you have a sense of danger when you're doing your heist, it feels really good. Once again, maybe the harder difficulties chains up the AI behavior and maybe they're not all brain dead, but for most people who are going to start playing this game, they're going to start on the normal difficulty. And it can be a really funny experience, but not in an intentional way. The last thing to mention here is the servers. Oh boy, the servers. Payday 3 launched on September 21st, 2023. And in the three days since launch, the servers have barely existed. Now I know that a game's launch player base is probably going to be near the top of their player count, but not having functional servers on an online only game is absurd. These devs are worth millions and they can't afford servers that can withstand people trying to play the game that they made. I mean, you're extremely lucky to get into a public match without disconnecting. And even if you're playing on a private match, there's still a possibility that that's going to fail. There is no excuse for this. Devs know that when a game launches, you're going to have a lot of people that try to get on and play it. But they apparently don't account for that. A botched launch can weigh heavily on a game for a long time, and sometimes it's hard to rebound. The game in and of itself is fun, but if you can't play it, then why would anybody recommend it? Overall, I think Payday 3 is a very fun game. One that I can see myself and my buddies coming back to play for quite some time. Especially as new content is added. But in its current state, I can't say I'd recommend buying it. If you have Xbox Game Pass, you have nothing to lose but some time. When the game works, you will have a blast. But there's bound to be some issues, especially during this rough launch period. So what do you guys think of Payday 3? Did you buy it? Are you enjoying it if you did? Let me know what you guys think down below. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio, mates. Yeah.